Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have something different. We have an electric bike from Aventon. See right here, it says Aventon, you'll move. All right, we're going to unbox this thing and see what it comes with. It's an electric bike called the Cinch. The Cinch Aventon electric bike. That's what it looks like right here. We have the cloud gray. Let's get it out of the box and see what it looks like. First, I'm going to show you guys what it comes like. So you get this nice thick box and inside you have a foldable electric bike fully insulated they took every precaution to get this bike to you in one piece you see those big old fat tires right here everything is zip tied everything is covered and so you won't get any scratches all right, you can see the seat, the handlebar, the frame, everything is protected. Guys, let's get it out of the box, the Aventon Cinch, and see what it looks like. All right, it's out of the box. This is what it looks like when it's completely folded right out of the box. I'm going to cut all the zip ties and flip the handlebar up. The reason it's standing up right now is on the bottom, there's a little, like a stand. So when it's folded, it will stand in this position when it's folded. All right. I'm going to open it and get it in its full, open, ready to ride form. So let's get that ready. And get out of this folded and get it done. Just use a side cutter. I'm just cutting all the zip ties off. I can find there are zip ties everywhere. You just cut them. They went overboard with protection, and that's awesome. I love seeing that. See, got plastic on it. Okay, guys, I got all the protective gear to that's covering this thing. Got everything off. This is what it looks like. Oh, I missed one. One more. Okay, got all of it off. One thing I, I like, these foldable pedals. So it's in a down position. You just grab it, bring it up, and then you pop this. It locked. Then we'll twist the bike. I don't think I have to do anything with the battery. Battery's in place. When you fold it, guys, one thing you have to make sure is this cable, as you're folding it, you want to make sure this fits in so you don't pinch your cable. All right, guys, there it is, fully put together. All I have to do now is get it charged and get ready to rip. So let's look at the, the bike. Real awesome fat tire. I love the color. I think I said that before. Cloud gray. See the brakes. Stand. Foldable pedals. Your charge port over here. This is where you'll charge it. Put that covered. All right, your bike comes with two boxes, the accessory kit and the charger. It's a three amp charger, e-bike charger. And in the accessory kit, you have your manual, some spare parts, your reflectors for the front and the back, white and red, dialin tool, and some bike grease. So that's what it comes with. We're gonna put the reflectors on the back and that's it that's all you have to do really get the bike together and get rolling
So one of my favorite things about this bike is you can store it. And guys, you can see I have my RV out. And normally a bike like this, I'd like to keep it inside. Check this out. It actually fits inside one of my RV compartment. So you just pick one and it actually fits exactly. I mean, it fits so perfectly. I took the seat out. You just pull the seat straight up. I just didn't want to mess with the seat. And I didn't want my seat getting dinged up. So I took the seat out. The seat just pulls right out. When I'm done, I'll just slide it in and hook it up. So there's the seat. Didn't want my seat getting anything happened to my seat and even the pedal folding up helped with putting this inside so you can see the pedal sticks out you just flip it folds up and it actually that stand it comes with actually helps so it holds the bike where it can't move forward or back as you can see it's exact nothing's being scratched i have a pad on the other side so it can be good on the top it's right like about an inch space on the top and I just grab it and pull it right out I'm gonna show you guys how I get it out real simple so I actually have a bike that can fit and be locked inside my RV and I'll just I can lock this at night if I want it does not have to stay outside just fold it up put it inside hey guys I'm gonna Let's show get you how out. simple it is for me to put my bike out of the RV okay I just come here, grab it, I pull my swing it in. Put it down. That's it. Put it in the same way. I just tilt it in first, push it in. Once the bike is out, you just grab it, open it up. I'm gonna flip this like this so you guys can see this cable I'm talking about. Just make sure this feeds in while you flip it open. Okay, guys, you can see this right here. This is where your battery is located. So that's the power cable right here. It plugs right into the battery. So this is where the battery gets made it to the bike. And there's a key. You have your key. Just put the key, flip this, pull your battery out. But when you're closing it, just make sure this feeds in right. There you go. Pull this back, lock it, bring your handlebar up, lock it, kickstand, grab your seat, lock it, you're ready. All right, as you can see, everything is put together seat handlebar and all this bike can go into this small space in my rv so it could be secured at night i don't have to worry about anything i can lock this compartment it's inside out of the element perfectly safe aventon cinch the cinch is really easy to store foldable bike and that's one of my favorite things i like about it guys let me take you out show you a quick ride on this thing and how fun it is okay so just a quick overview of this bike on the front you have your the new screen new smaller screen and you can see this right here you turn it on this powers on the screen a little longer this comes on we're right at 91 percent so on this you see this light most people think this is for a headlight, but what it does, it actually controls the brightness of your screen. So if you ride at night, you could dim it or you could make it brighter. So that's what that light right here does. Okay, another thing about this screen, being a little darker, I love that. On the bottom of the screen, you can see right here, pull this out. There's a little port right here, a USB port on the bottom. Most people haven't seen that. You have your gear shifter right here. I like the grips, grip locks, real good. So it prevents it from sliding out. 
this is your, your throttle information right here you push that and you can switch between all your modes this one would be a uh, assist plus so you see that one you have all the way up to five and all the way down to one okay we can't talk about this bike without talking about the app okay so you ha it's app based you can actually download the app for this bike it shows you your bike right here it shows you your battery status you can actually control the light from your your app i'm gonna do this right quick see i turn the lights down and you can control it from your phone let's go to settings real quick on settings you can control you can change your bike's nickname you can control the screen auto power this is pretty cool you can set how long your bike waits before it shuts itself off so if you leave it sitting i have mine set to 10 minutes shut off you can also increase your max speed you can increase your max speed miles per hour or kilometers per hour assist you can change your assist here so from the phone Let's see if I can do this. I can increase my assist mode and turn it back down to zero. That's where you also can unpair your, your um, Bluetooth. Go back. It'll record all your rides so you can check all the rides you've done. Wow, you can also check your rankings. These are all other people that's done rides. Wow, they they wrote some miles. Man, this guy got 35.5 miles today. This app is cool. Okay, another thing I want to show you guys on this right here. You get assist one and you just hold down minus and keep holding it down. Your bike will go into assist walk mode. So it, it, instead of pushing it, you just hold down the minus and your bike will go into walk mode. Let it go, it will stop. So if you're walking and you just want to have the bike, let's say you're going up a, a, a hill or something, you can just hold this down and the bike will go into walk mode. Let's try this again. So you just hold down neg uh, minus for like three seconds and it will start walking. It says walk mode, walk assist. I like the kickstand where it's located. It keeps it out of your way. I showed you the stand when you get folded. The folded pedal. You have your double guard on the chain that prevents the chain from coming out. Real comfortable seat. This right here, there's a little lock on the bottom. So you just pull it forward and then that's what helps you keep this folded. Same thing with the handlebar, you have a double lock, so you pull this and pull forward. So they're both double action. Disc brakes, back and front, 4 inch by 20 wheel. Alright guys, ride of my Ventum Cinch. This thing is really, really fun to ride, I really enjoyed it. I probably can't even go back riding a regular bike after this experience of riding this thing. If you guys have not ridden an electric bike, just try it out. I want you to just give it a shot. You would not expect this. It's so much fun. Guys, thanks for watching this review. Quick review of the Event and Cinch. Um, stay tuned for more. Um, we'll do some charging on this and see what else we can do with the bike, especially when it comes to charging it. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.